Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I tube feed one of my foster kittens, Mouse. Long story short, he went four days without gaining any weight and it was clear he needed some assistance getting the nutrients his body needs. Uh, I do want to start by saying that this can be dangerous and potentially life-threatening if done incorrectly. So please, if possible, have your veterinarian or vet staff show you how to tube feed in person first. Here are the supplies that you are going to need. You'll need a scale, a stomach capacity chart for kittens. I use the one by Maddie's Fund. A permanent marker, your milk replacer, which is at a warm but not hot temperature a syringe, and the feeding tube. So here I've got mouse, and the first thing we want to do is weigh our kitten. I am doing so in grams because he is only a couple weeks old, but if you have an older kitten, you can also do it in ounces. Once you get that weight, you're going to look at your stomach capacity chart to see how much your kitten needs to be fed. Always play it safe and never give a kitten more than their stomach can handle. This is very important because otherwise you could cause the kitten to vomit. The tubes used on kittens range in size from 3.5, 5, and 8 FR. I have a 3.5 FR tube on hand, so that is what I use today. Normally, a 5 FR would be better for a kitten of this size. Since this was a really difficult angle for me to get to the camera, I went ahead and made a clearer second video so that you could really see what I meant when I said I am going from the corner of the mouth down to that very last rib up against the kitten to measure where I want to put my permanent marker because that permanent marker is going to tell me how far down the kitten's throat I need to be to be in the stomach. Next, I am going to fill the syringe with the milk and I'm going to add a few extra cc's. You'll see why in a minute. Let mama cat say hi, give her some milk if she wants. You then flip that syringe over and tap it to get the bubbles to come to the top. Now we're gonna attach our tube. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. And now I am going to push the syringe in that position so that the air runs through the tube and we get any air and bubbles out. Please do not go off of what you see me giving Mouse as I'm giving him a slightly smaller meal because he is also still nursing on mom, just not getting the amount of nutrition that he needs. So I'm just giving him some extra. Now I'm going to Pareto Mouse so that he cannot pull the tube out using his little paws while I'm trying to tube feed him. So you're going to position the kitten with the head forward, honestly even more forward than this if you were tilting him a little bit further. But of course, I am challenged at making videos. Now here you can see that I inserted the tube and I started to get some pushback. So I took it back out and I'm going to try again. I actually want him to be yelling and screaming because that way I know I am going down the esophagus. So it's a good thing if he is yelling. I am making sure that that black mark that we put on the tube is at the entrance of the kitten's mouth. And now I am slowly syringing the milk into mouse. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. If you need to, you can reposition that tube if it has started to come out of the mouth at all. And then just keep slowly pushing the milk in. And then I'm just going to pull that tube right out once wow. we're done. You did so good. By the way, something I should have included here is when you're taking the tube out, you should kink it so that when you pull it out, no milk can come out of the tube and into the lungs and cause the kitten to aspirate. If you are tube feeding a neonatal kitten without a mom, make sure to stimulate them to use the bathroom after you are finished. And lastly, we want to clean the tube really well. So here is some really hot water. And I'm going to use the syringe that we used and take off the tube. I am going to clean out the syringe a few times, get any milk out. And then I'm going to reattach the tube. 
and I'm going to run the hot water through the tube and out the holes. By the way, it is supposed to look like that. There should be multiple holes in your tube. And we're going to run it until there's no more milk coming out and it's all clear so that it's clean to use for next time. I do not recommend using the same syringe over, but you can reuse the tube. And now Mouse is sleeping soundly now that he has got a full belly, except that I picked him up to kiss his little head. Knowing how to tube feed really can save these little guys' lives, so I highly recommend you have the supplies on hand and have your vet or vet staff show you how to tube feed before you even need to know how to do it. I hope this video was helpful, and let me know if you have any comments below. Thanks, guys!